Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 8th video in uh, Veeam Advanced Training and in this video I am going to discuss you about the backup method in in um, Veeam and details. So uh, basically backup method there is different type of uh, backup method in Veeam which uh, Veeam can take care during the backup and it's completely depend on the how how we schedule the backup and how we decided to take the backup so the mainly uh, there are three types of backup you can see from here uh, the first type of backup is a forever forward incremental backup so this means the first backup whatever backup if we set uh, backup jobs in a way to run a, f a forever forward incremental backups means the first backup in a uh, in a queue is always going to have a full backup so like if if we set the re restoration point six uh, for five backup then the uh, the first backup will be the full backup and rest four backup will be going to be a, a incremental backup and then we have a forward incremental backup forward incremental backup is a special type of backup where you can see the um, it's always do the increment uh, uh, the first backup will run in uh, full backup and then all the backup will run incremental backup but during uh, when we um, select the synthetic backup type uh, full backup date like uh, you can see from picture the um, when a Thursday is scheduled to take the uh, synthetic backup so uh, it's going to take the in full backup which is uh, going to run by synthetic back backup so it means the f uh, in between we have a, f in a full backup of the VM or the virtual machine and then again we are going to have an incremental backup so we will discuss in detail so the last backup type which is available in VM is a, a reverse incremental backup in reverse incremental backup like we have a six restoration point so the latest latest restoration point which we have is a, a full backup and all the old restoration point is going to take the and um, uh, you can say reverse incremental backup so so if you want to restore the uh, reverse incremental backup it's going to run the first full backup and then reverse incremental backup till the till the restoration point so we'll discuss more about one by one for all these three type of backup so let's move uh, the backup method in Veeam backup and replication 9.5 so as I told there are three types of backup uh, which Veeam backup and replication provide so the first is uh, forever forward incremental backup and second is forward incremental and third one is the reverse incremental backup so uh, Veeam backup and replication create and maintains the below file type and during the backup jobs so the first type of file which is vbk is extends for virtual machine full backup so this type of backup it's going to be take the full backup of the virtual machine so and the second one is which is a vib or vrb is incremental backup that is store incremental changes for vm so this is VIB is for a forward incremental backups which is going to run and VRB is incremental backup for reverse incremental backup so both are different so one for forward incremental and VRB is for uh, a reverse incremental backup so and the next one is VBM VBM is basically store metadata information about the backup jobs VM process by the backup jobs and number of numbers and structure of the backup file and restore points and so on so a VMB file is an important file when when we try to get the backup jobs detail all the backup restore points and uh, others details for the backup jobs so um, BMP is a, a, a Veeam backup metadata and the next one is VSB which is virtual synthetic backup used to uh, use for the generation of the um, like full virtual machine backup on tape so uh, VSB is a, a synthetic backup which is going to be taken on the tapes libraries and then we have VLB and VSP these are these both file extension for uh, that is store a Microsoft SQL transaction log data and same we have VLB 
and VOM which uh, which store Oracle archive login information so these are the common file format which we uh, um, must have to know about the Veeam backup uh, backup jobs and backup structure and these three types of backup method which we use so let's discuss in detail one by one all these three um, backup type backup method so the first one is a forever forward incremental backup so during this you can see from picture the first backup is going to run at a full backup so you can see during the first session of a backup jobs Veeam creates a full backup of backup uh, on the backup repository so means during the first run when we we create and schedule a job the Veeam is going to create a full backup of the virtual machine and going to reach uh, save on backup repository or the storage path where we decided to keep this to, uh, keep the backup files and during the next backup these all backup uh, the subsequent backup or next backup job Veeam copies only VM data blocks that have been changed from since last backup job S uh, so it's depend so uh, n like on Sunday we uh, the full backup is run and the Monday or Tuesday and next so on days it's going to check how many files or blocks are changed from since last full or incremental backups so only those block of changes are going to be taken care in a subsequent block uh, job so like on Sunday uh, uh, we take a full backup of this machine on Monday before running uh, the job it's going to check what the blocks has been changed from since last full backup or incremental so it's identify the blocks which was changed and it's going to take the copy of those blocks only and after adding a new restore point the backup chain so this is going to be a, re a new restoration point which we are going to have on Monday we check the retention policy for the job like if we set the retention policy for five days and we have one two three four and five backup then it's going to check if Veeam backup and replication detects outdated restore point so like if we set five uh, restoration point and we have here like six uh, we have this is outdated backup which is uh, six day old so it's going to transfer the backup chain to make the room to the most recent uh, restoration point so it's going to uh, move this full backup here and then we are going to have a four incremental backup so this is means for forever forward backup so forever forward backup means always the first backup is full and then we are going to have a uh, incremental backup as per our restoration point if the restoration point is going outdated it's going to save the backup to new new restore point date so this is uh, forever forward incremental backup and next we have forward incremental backup so during the first run uh, first backup job session Veeam creates a full backup this is also the same during the first backup Veeam is going to create a full backup and during the subsequent backup jobs Veeam copy the only data which is changed from last full or incremental backup and save those in incremental file this is also same so during the next uh, backup jobs or ba uh, next uh, subsequent backup session Vim is going to check what uh, what all the changes has been made in um, VM data blocks so it's going to check the incremental backup and run the incremental backups so next on the day when the synthetic or uh, full or active full backup is scheduled we creates a full backup files that add into backup chain so an incremental restore point uh, is going to be a full and new staging point so this is means when we have a, 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 a forward incremental backup when we schedule a synthetic full or active full backup is scheduled it's going to take a complete backup of um, uh, machine or virtual machine and then it's going to add the incremental restoration point so basically we are going to have two backups full backup so it's depend on the incremental restoration point and the full backup which is going to create a new staging points and a forward incremental so after adding a new restoration point to the Veeam chain Veeam check the retention policy set to the job 
like same way Veeam is always going to check the retention policy if Veeam and a Veeam backup and replication detects outdated restoration point its attempt to remove the point from the backup chain like if we set to the four days like uh, one Saturday uh, from Wednesday to uh, Wednesday to Saturday it's going to remove these two Sunday and Monday backups from the um, backup jobs and retention policies so this is how forward incremental backup runs and next we have a reverse incremental backup so as we understand from the uh, name reverse incremental backup means all the restoration point you can see the file extension is VRB which is a uh, Veeam reverse backup and last we have a Veeam VBK, uh, VBK which is Veeam full backup so during the first session job we create a full backup on a file so it's going to create a full backup and during the subsequent backup jobs session we backup and replication copy only the data blocks that have been changed since last backup jobs and we backup and replication injects copy of blocks uh, uh, a copy of blocks which was changed into a full backup file and rebuild the most recent state of the virtual machine so this is what Veeam is going to take Veeam is always going to take the uh, complete backup of full uh, at the most recent backup and whatever the changes was done it's going to inject in the most recent backup so in addition Veeam backup and replication create a reverse incremental backup file container data block that are replaced when the full backup file is rebuilt so whenever the uh, backup is run it's going to replace the blocks uh, and uh, uh, when the full backup is going to rebuild so every time when the re uh, when the uh, uh, reverse backup uh, backup jobs is going to run it's going to run the incremental backup and then it's going to ch ch check all the blocks which uh, which was ch uh, change from the last uh, backup and it's going to inject those data those are uh, changes of the blocks in a full backup so it's add this uh, reverse incremental backup file in a full file uh, full backup file in the backup chain so this is the f last v which we are going to have our full backup which injected by all the reverse um, backup so uh, for example if we are going to restore this Wednesday uh, generally the reverse incremental backup is not rec uh, not recommended because it's slow because whenever you are going to restore the like if you want if you are on Saturday and you want to restore machine by Monday so the uh, the uh, the Veeam need to uh, remove all these changes from the backup either backup going to have a full backup so it's going to reverse all these uh, backups that's why this uh, reverse incremental backup is going to be a restore slow and it's not recommended by Veeam itself so next what we have a synthetic full backup so synthetic full backup as you can see from the screen it's going to be a uh, like uh, the on this uh, screen you can see we have a um, Friday Sunday to Friday and you can see the synthetic backup on Friday it's going to take the full backup and all the incrementals backup so which you are going to have in a synthetic full backup means uh, the C synthetic full backup restoration point is going to be a latest and it does not require any full backup and then incremental backups restore so when you have a synthetic back full backup machine is it's basically a a running state of the virtual machine on the schedule of synthetic full backup so from here also you can say backup chain which is Sunday Monday Tuesday and Wednesday all the reverse or uh, reverse incremental backups and it's going to take in synthetic backup so you are going to have a full synthetic backup of the Thursday and these are the incremental backups so synthetic backup is uh, going to have a all the restoration point data including the full backup so we are going to see one by one all these how we can set the forever forwarding backup 
how we, how we can set the forward incrementals backup reverse incrementals backup and how we can set the synthetic full backup or active full backup so um, these two uh, these two topics are very um, uh, very important when you, uh, when you see the backup method and all these so how the virtu how the veeam is going to identify what the changes or what uh, what is the incremental data which veeam need to be taken care during the next backup jobs so to check this veeam use cbt which is change block tracking and rct which is resilient change tracking so you can see from here so cbt is enabled by default in veeam backup and replication 9.5 so whenever you schedule any backup so cbt is already enabled there to change the track change uh, uh, change uh, track the changing of the virtual machine since the last full backup or an incremental backup and veeam backup and replication use cbt for the following operation the first is backup so wh whenever the backup job is going to run it's going to check what the backup or uh, what the data has been changed since last backup so which need to be taken care and same it's going to check the replication uh, or during the replication how, what is the data has been changed which need to be replicate to the replication partner and during the entire vm restore also so you can see here veeam backup and replication use the following mechanism to keep the tracking of the data changes so in uh, hyper v uh, microsoft hyper v servers 2012 R2 or earlier CBT is by default enabled which is change uh, which is change block tracking mechanism from 2016 VM onwards we have a new uh, ch uh, chain tracking system which is introduced by Microsoft which is resilient change tracking so this is going to be used for whatever virtual machine is running on Hyper-V server which is running Windows Server 2016 so you can see the full backup how the machine is going to run a full backup and a backup repository and incremental data it's going to identify which which block has been changed so only changes is going to be our uh, backup in a backup release to a repository so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye